My English is not always the best because I'm still learning. There may be a lot of uh, spelling errors and things like that, but uh, we go over it. <laughs> so uh, how did I begin to interest me in all those, those fields? Uh, I have a degree in agriculture, engineer in agriculture, but uh, uh, be sure that you don't learn all that stuff in uh, the degree. So I, I wanted to learn a lot of alternative techniques for agriculture and food production. And I was always attracted to everything that seems mysterious, uh, special. Uh, I was always very curious and also close to nature. Uh, I, I grew up in a little farm, and, and a very little farm, and the idea was to, to live from, from the products of the farms, of the farm. It was not easy for my parents, but I, I grew up in that, in, that, uh, in that spirit, so that, that would uh, make you understand how I get to all those uh, discoveries. Uh, an example, here's, here's some of experiments I did on sunflowers. You see the, the sunflower is still growing and it was already uh, a lot more bigger. It was already like three meters or 10 feet. And after the head of the sunflower was like, it was like this, this big. So it's really very big. So that, that's possible for everybody in his garden. What I tell to the farmers, do you find normal that all your plants become always sick? That's not normal. Now, the, the people are used to that they have always to do treatments against pests, against uh, sicknesses, against uh, insects. But uh, I say that's really not normal. It's like all the plants, like we too, a lot of us, we are regularly sick. That's not normal. Normally, we, we have to be always healthy. And, uh, and in some exceptional case, we can become sick maybe, but uh, normal, uh, it's, we are healthy. And so I, would, and so I think whole nature, we, we, we are so disconnected by, nat uh, by, by our way of doing that, uh, that whole nature and, and we too, we are like depressed. We are living like 5% of our potential, you see. And, and, the, and that's, that is just because of ignorance, because ignorance of certain basic, simple techniques, like we learned already in the, in the presentation before. We learned already about resonance, about frequencies. We, we never learned about that at school. And, and, it's, uh, and it's basic knowledge that we, 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 uh, we would have to know for, from childhood. So I did um, ah, yeah, an exam. I did an exam. Uh, I did a research, a thesis about the influence of sounds on plant growth, sounds, and the effects of sounds and the different techniques as a field where you it's like chemistry. You could uh, give courses during five years only about sound because there's so much to discover about that. And here that's an example of uh, melodies. I put on tomato plants, after two months, they were like uh, 30 centimeters bigger. That's even after three months, the picture. And this was only with six minutes of certain melodies. Six minutes. You see, the, the profound effect only six minutes a day can have on plant growth. So th that gives you an idea of the power of sound. Also, our spoken word has a real power. It's, not, it's like uh, in the previous uh, presentation, there are people saying the sound, the, the, in, in cymatics, they are also experienced with uh, old uh, sounds of letters. And you can find it back in the picture of the, of the sound in, in, in sand. You can really find back the letter of an old sound uh, the old sound of a letter of old, uh, old languages, uh, you can find back in the picture. It's really the resonance of the sound. Really interesting. So th that was just illustration. Uh, we can even, that the, the previous experiments was based on really quantum physics. 
I, I, um, I calculated the frequency of all the amino acids of the molecules and then I, I made up like a, a music um, a melody and when you play that it's like a key it's like a key in a door it's, it's not just a, a, a basic tool no it's just it's really a code you see and then it becomes in resonance with a certain protein biosynthesis in your body or a gene activation and then you can have such profound effects it's not just sound it's a, it's like sound but it's like a melody it's like information and you can find that back in our melodies like in Vivaldi ta -ta 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 -ta, or you can find back in uh, shamanic know-how the shamans uh, when they they sing to to heal somebody they take a plant they they become like in resonance with that plant and with the with the with the with the patient to to heal and then they would sing a, a certain melody that correspond with the proteins and the proteins of the plants it's it's like a reason it's like an inspiration like a an intuition but ten times more powerful uh, li like a, a really good intuition and and the birds do they 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 can they can sing like those codes they sing that every day you see it's like a code uh, you can do that at different octaves different levels you just put yeah thank you very much you can do that at different levels it's always the same information it's just at different level and also on electromagnetic levels that you don't hear that are invisible it's also all around us and it's also all codes each protein synthesis in our body emits those waves around us and would influence also the other around us <coughs> you're here maybe oh. maybe yeah so it's like a bird and you see what happens here in the cells you see it moves that's the morning or in springtime you would first hear the birds singing and then you would see the seeds sprouting it's not the opposite <laughs> And that's the reason. When, with certain frequencies, the seeds would sprout a lot quicker. Very interesting. So you, I, I could talk days about that. But now I go, I would continue with uh, on another experiment on vines. With, uh, the, that was with uh, music, with c classic music. You had like also more than 30% more growth. You see the vines on the, here's, here's the top of the rod. And here, that was uh, the control. They even didn't reach it. And there were no, on those vines, that was, there was no uh, pest, no sickness, no, no mildew, no, no sickness. So that's very interesting when you know all the products they use to treat the vines, all the chemistry products that pollute and so on, and that are even toxic. If, um, um, if the wine of today was water, it, it, it don't respect the potability rules. You see, it, it would not be uh, allowed to be sell, you see, uh, as, as a mineral water because of all the toxic products you find in it. About music again and the pyramid, very interesting too. I would tell a little about it and the link with pyramids too. An example, now we, we, we learn the music is tuned to 440 hertz, the A on 440 hertz. But that's not really a natural frequency. It doesn't correspond with any natural frequency I, I can find in nature. 